Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this is me. My name is Tony. My YouTube channel is Secondhand Daisy, and I'm going to talk about my March sales uh, for this year, 2018. March is finished. I'm beginning a new month. Uh, let me talk about March. Uh, March started off very weak for me. I think the first full week of March, uh, the first seven days, I only had about, I, I don't believe I even had $100 in sales. But for the entire month, things did pick up. And I wound up selling, well, I had 42 sales for the entire month. And uh, my total in sales were almost $2,000. And I've said I'd like to sell at least $2,000 a month. Um, and I almost never do. But this month, I came as close as close as I can get without it being like the holiday season, you know, November, December, that thing. And I don't know if I can attribute some of the sales to tax returns. I know I can attribute some of the sales uh, on one day specifically to when we had that big, massive snowstorm uh, where I live. And what happened was I made a bunch of sales that day. But let me just start from the very beginning. And my first sale did not happen until the 3rd of March. Uh, and that sale was for $65.99. And that was a vintage Camrose and Cross Jackie Kennedy enamel rhinestone uh, bangle bracelet. I had this for a while. I had this for, let's see, when did I first list this? September 26, 2017. Uh, less than a year, so that's not too bad. I, I know I had it for a while, though. I don't really list the jewelry much. My wife does. But as you can see, there it is. A vintage Jackie Kennedy uh, jewelry can do well on eBay. My second sale happened the next day. And this sale was for a vintage mid-century handmade copper bracelet and screwback earring lot. Um, I know for a fact we had these at the flea market for quite a while. Um, months and months and months. And my wife can often sell copper uh, jewelry, especially the bracelets, uh, but nobody wanted this one. We had this one listed for not very long, uh, less than a month, and I know it was at the flea market for quite a long time, and sometimes my wife will just raid, especially this time of year when there aren't that many yard sales or anything like that. She'll just raid her showcase. She'll go, this hasn't sold, this hasn't sold, this hasn't sold, and it's, I mean, normally we like to list, list stuff that sells for more money, but we sold this for $30, and that's certainly more mo money than the $0 we were earning sitting in the case. But as you can see, it's just a nice example of, of hammered co copper jewelry. If you see this stuff around, um, guess what? You can get about 30 bucks for it on eBay. Here's a, a little, little figurine. This is a vintage 1960s uh, Royal Many, Many Yoon Treasure Craft Hawaiian Folk Art Tiki figure. Now, I thought this was uh, Coco Joe's when I first saw it. And I cannot sell Coco Joe's at the flea market um, where I am or the ones that I go to. Uh, if they do sell, they sell for five bucks. And I just got fed up. I was like, you know what? It's like three, four pictures. Uh, I'll do it. My research um, showed me it, it was made by a company named Treasure Craft. And they seem to sell for $25. And mine did sell for $25. And I think I probably paid a... I don't know. I wouldn't pay more than two or three dollars for these because just if I have to sell them at the flea market, you know, I'm only going to get like five dollars uh, generally at most. Um, but again, I had this listed for a less than a month. So if you see see these little figures and you're willing to sell stuff in the twenty twenty five dollar range, then pick them up, put them on. You know, they're easy to sell. Uh, people who like Hawaii Anna will buy it, and you could ship this uh, first class, as you can probably ship most Coco Joe's first class, so they should generally cost you about like four bucks to ship. Um, CDs. Let's see how long I had this CD on. Nope, this is one of the new ones I listed that Amazon uh, just said I couldn't sell anymore, or Amazon uh, gated me and just started uh, ending my listings and, and just making my life miserable. And I still haven't relisted everything that they, they took off from my Amazon. So here here I am, uh, just eventually relisting all this crap. Anyway, I sold the C for $12. This is a CD that would not really sell for me at, at the, the flea market. Plus, it was in new condition. Um, if I were to sell it at the flea market, I would sell it for 
But um, the flea markets I got to, they mostly buy rock. If this CD had been worth like maybe five dollars, I would have never listed it on eBay, and I would have just let it sit at a flea market and sold it eventually. Um, finally, I had a pretty decent sale, and I guess I I was a little mistaken. I said, oh, I didn't even sell a hundred dollars worth of stuff all the way up to the seventh, but no. Uh, it was a little bit over $100, um, but, but on the 7th, I had a really good sale. Um, check this out. Um, oh, God. I had this for, I don't know, not that long, about <laughs> two years. Uh, two years. Uh, a little, actually, a little bit more than two years. Not bad, though. This is an antique folk art. Abraham Lincoln, woodcarved penny plaque, signed E.T.H. Isman, I-S-M-A-N, Isman, I don't know, uh, $400 for this. this. This item was really cool. It was kind of large. It was about, I don't know, maybe 24 inches across, maybe, let me see if I can, it was 16 inches across and about 10 inches tall, but nice, and it was all carved from wood, and it was dated to be from uh, 1918. That's when it was from. Uh, if I had taken this to the flea market, what would I get? I would say I would get anywhere from 15 to as much as $50. And this was just too nice. And I'm like, screw that crap. I'm not going to do it. I did some research and I felt that this should be worth about 400 or so dollars. That's where I priced it. It only took me a couple of years to sell. But um, that's eBay. That's why all of us, all of us sellers have to do eBay. Or at least some eBay. Not for the $20 crap. Not for the $10 crap. Although it is much appreciated that a lot of people are willing to list items on eBay and only make a couple of dollars. Because it's it's amazing for us people who want to buy those items and, and and find them where they're so inexpensive that it, you know, I could give you like examples all the time uh, of just things that I buy for a few dollars on eBay. And I'm like, how how are these guys making money? And I would never do it, you know, unless I had some a huge bunch of people working for me and doing it. And then I'd just, you know, be on my boat and say, how many million of the $2 items did we sell today? Great. You know, and I just go off on my yacht or something. But no, as a regular single person individual, I couldn't do it. It's just uh, I don't have that kind of time, you know, and I, it, it just wouldn't be worth my while. Anyway, after that amazing sale of $400. I made a $25 sale. Not bad. Uh, vintage, signed, AC, Egyptian cat pen, gold tone, and black enamel pen. Um, you know, $25 for this cat pen. I, it's signed. Anything signed, you always look it up. See if you can figure out if it'll sell and how much it's worth. At the flea market, I would get about $5 for this. So, you know, and we might have had it at the flea market. Or my wife might have said, screw that crap. I'm just going to put this on eBay because it's signed. And... At least I'll get $20, $25. Perfume sale. Uh, this is probably my first perfume sale of the month. Unless I already said I had another sale. I don't know. I'm just going through this stuff. I don't even remember. Uh, Aurora by Swarovski. Eau de Toilet Tester. Refillable spray. 95% uh, full. And I got $42.99 for it. Don't know what I paid for it. Can't remember. I had it listed for, man, about four years. No, wait a minute. 2018. Nope. Three years. <laughs> God. Three years. But like I say, you even if you have to wait on eBay, it's still better than bank interest. Probably better than the stock market. That's a freaking roller coaster. Next sell. Video game. Piglet's Big Movie. GameCube. Oh, my God. This is one of the items that I had on for 10 years. And I like to say about these sales, uh, these things that I put on eBay, and I just... Because that's what I do. I just list stuff on eBay and I walk away and I forget about it. And I don't care. And I don't mess with my listings. I just say, what, do I, what else I got to list? And I just keep listing different stuff. But 10 long years later, I got almost 20 bucks for this thing. Um, it only took 10 years for it to be worth $20. And I thought it was worth it at the time. That's why I listed it for that. But it must have been worth it. Went down and then came back up. Anyway, Piglet's Big Game, GameCube, complete. Sales like this, I like to say... That I can't, I can't do these ten-year sales because uh, in another ten years, I, you know, I could be an old man. <laughs> Who knows if I'll even be alive? You know, I could be in a walk. I don't know. 
You know, I never, I don't know what's going to happen in my life. Uh, I don't like waiting for things to sell 10 years, but whatever. I'm in, I'm on eBay for the long haul. Uh, so, I don't know. Here's another sale. Uh, and this one we had on less for a month. Copper. Uh, these are Ren Ren Renoir, uh, copper clipback earrings, uh, vintage mid-century modern. Got sixteen bucks for these. Uh, I would never even get five at the flea market for these. So the sixteen dollars is pretty good. Fifteen ninety nine. I just rounded it up to sixteen dollars. Uh, anything signed, just check it. And a lot of times, it's worth listing. That's why you don't see signed stuff at flea markets anymore because all the vendors or keeping the signed stuff and putting it on eBay and getting that top dollar. That's why you go to the flea market and you say, you got any signed jewelry? And they're like, no. How long did I have this on? Mm, three years. No, actually two years. No, almost three years. Almost three years. Waterford, Lismore, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum, Eau de Parfum Spray, 3.4 fluid ounces with box, silver ring, four vase. Um, it was, Waterford made a bottle a vase and they put perfume in it and when you're done with the perfume you can use it as a vase pretty neat uh waterford 50 bucks uh it took a couple of years to sell but waterford is a qual quality item doesn't mean that everything on that you put on waterford will sell for good money this particular item was unique so i tried it closinet bangles let's see four closinet bangles these are signed by Robert Kuo, I think it is. Robert Kuo. Kuo. Robert Kuo? K-U-O. That's not how he signs his name. Uh, he has a, a, a symbol that stands for his name. And uh, it's a K in a circle. And I guess that's for Kuo. I don't know. Kuo. 50 bucks. Now, for these for these bangles at the flea market, we're lucky to sell them between 5 and 10 and... People don't like that price. Um, they don't want to pay that much. So uh, we've been taking our, our close and eight bangles and kind of put them on eBay. They're selling for more. Um, I don't know why I can't sell them. I, I, uh, the area I live in is very heavily Asian. So uh, maybe they just already have enough close and eight jewelry. They don't care about Robert Quo or whatever. But you'll see more examples of us selling close and eight bangles. Um, they just, they're just worth more. And uh, speaking of Claws and A jewelry and being able to sell more of it, check out this vintage Chinese deep red Claws and A bead necklace with a floral design. It was hand knotted beads and 31 inches. Got $75 for that. Pretty sweet, huh? Beautiful beads, beautiful necklace, nice vintage clasp. Definitely worth the 75 at the flea market. I got a feeling my wife had it out hanging off her case. You'll probably see it in some of our older videos. Probably had it hanging there for like months and months and months. And that's how it is for us. You know, if it's quality jewelry and it's just sitting there, uh, we'll, we'll eventually remove it from the case and put it online because if it's sitting in the case and not selling, why not let it sit on eBay and, and not sell or hopefully sell for maybe double to three or four or many times more the price than we would have gotten at the flea market. Um, let me see how long I had that listed. Not too long. Um, less than six months. A lot of what we do is based on our titles and description. Beautiful pictures, clear pictures people can see, where the stuff, uh, where the jewelry, where the items look good. That matters. That's important. Um, these two little min mini Fenton Miniature Rabbit and Hen and Chicken. I had actually, I bought these with some larger pieces and it turns out that these mini ones were worth more than the larger pieces. So I, or it's not even that they were worth more because honestly, they're not really worth more. They just sell easier. Now at the flea market, I would, oh my God, they'd give me like, the these things were tiny. They were about like maybe an inch across, maybe a, let me just, one and one eighth inches across the bottom uh, for the rabbit and there's a funny story with this one right with these two because both my i had a i had a hen and a rabbit and they both went to the same buyer 24.99 first of all i mean 
that's not going to happen for me at a flea market. It's not going to happen at a, a showcase. It's, it's just too tiny. I had to put them on eBay to get that kind of money. But here's the funny story. The, the guy buys them, right? And he gets them and he says, uh, he, he files a not as described case, which is what's annoying about not as described cases is that people abuse it. They can do it for anything. It's just anything. It's just not as described. The, you know, the, the color's a little bit off. It's 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 one quarter millionth of, of an inch different in size. It, it doesn't weigh exactly what it, you know, whatever. Whatever, they get just anything. You know, it doesn't work. It's a paperweight. It doesn't work, you know. But what this guy said was not authentic, right? Not Fenton. Uh, but here, I'm going to show you that these are authentic because they have Fenton labels right on the bottom, right? But this guy didn't believe that they were Fenton, even though they had Fenton labels on the bottom, uh, which to me, it's ridiculous. So I emailed, I the guy wanted his money back. He wanted to return it. And I did not immediately approve it, right? And here's another thing. Don't always immediately approve returns because if you immediately approve return with eBay's new freaking return policy, you pay for the returns. They print out a, sh uh, a shipping label and they deduct it or they add it onto your eBay fees and you're, you're on the hook for that. Um, at least if you delay it or you don't automatically approve it, maybe they'll pay for return shipping if you if you want to fight a little bit. You know, every once in a while, it's it's worth fighting. Anyway, let me take a deep breath. Uh, Fenton, I said to the guy, I said, look, these are absolutely 100% definitely Fenton. And I said, besides having the label on the bottom, you can, you can check. None of the other ones that are like mine have, have the Fenton logo. He said it was supposed to have the, the Fenton logo in the ring. But those only happen from the 70s. And even though these are from the 90s, Fenton just doesn't do it all the time, I guess. I don't know, you know. But so what happened was he let it sit. And I was like, huh, maybe the guy is just embarrassed to, to be, oh, yeah, the Fenton labels. So that kind of might, you know. And the Fenton labels have wear, as you can see. I didn't print out Fenton labels from a printer. Glue them on. But why would I do that for $25? I mean, come on, right? But whatever. Ugh. Anyway, he contacts me back about a week or so later, and uh, he's like, I did some research, and it turns out that these are Fenton, and for some reason, they, 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 and I'm like, okay, great, you know, glad it worked out, blah, 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 and I actually put the guy on my block list as soon as, because if you, with me, if you give me any nonsense, you're going on my block list, that's it, I don't need aggravation, I have enough aggravation in my life, you know, I don't need eBay people screwing me over, over bull crap. And if they don't like me buying a bunch of my stuff and and just not paying and giving me negs and so I don't need that. I'm you know I really try hard. I'm a hard worker. I do my best to make people happy on eBay. So when you do stuff to screw me over, I don't like it. Anyway, um, jewelry, uh, Murano beads. Now we take them to the flea market sometimes, and people want to give us like ten dollars or whatever for them, and we're like, no, we paid ten dollars for them, right? So pretty much. What we do is we do take them out and try, but if they don't sell relatively quickly, we just throw them on eBay and let them sit for whatever price we decide they are worth. Uh, in this case, these vintage Murano Italian green gold swirl confetti glass um, beads necklace, we sold for $32.99, almost $33. And we had started that one in May of 2017, so eight March, April, May, almost a year, you know, but whatever. Not selling at the flea market. And people just bust in your chops. I mean, they literally go like this to us sometimes. We go like this. How much is that green necklace, right? And we'll be um, 20 bucks. And they're like, oh, no, no. They Literally, they do that. They're like, hold oh, on, 20 on. It's like, all right, calm down, you know? It's like, we get it. You don't want to pay 20 bucks. You could say, oh, okay, thank you. That's what I do. I'm polite. Uh, check this out. 60 bucks. For a vintage double strand Aurora Borealis crystal necklace with pen. Do I think that's an insane price to get a, for a beautiful piece of jewelry like this? No. But at the flea market? I think I'm I'm flea market bashing today, but you know what? Whatever. I'm not really eBay, eBay bashing today. I did eBay bash a little bit with the sellers on that other sale. Um, those two Fenton glass animals. I've been finding a lot of Fenton lately, but... Okay, concentrate on this sale. Um... How long did I have it listed? Not very long, less than a year. I have I don't even know if my wife put it on her table or in her case at the flea market, but 
I do know we had it on eBay and it sold 60 bucks. And I know if we had it at the flea market, we would not get 60 bucks. But I am very often willing to sell something like this for way less at the flea market, you know, because I don't have to do the work. And, and, and this, the work, the extra work that I have to do with eBay really matters. It takes up a lot of time, you know. Um, fortunately, I don't even list that fast. My wife lists faster than me, which is good. Here's a little thing we sold for $13. Um, a little teeny weeny antique vintage champlev. I believe that's how you pronounce that. Closene enamel sewing thimble. $13. Probably cost me like $3 to ship. Probably paid about 2 bucks, I guess, in eBay fees. Um, if I took this at the flea market, it wouldn't sell. It's so freaking more than a few dollars. And it's so freaking small that I would just basically lose it. The wind would blow it to its side or roll off the table. Somebody would step in it and it would crush it uh, or at least smash it into the dirt and whatever, you know. So, like, I basically I made about eight bucks, I'll say, because I guess I paid a dollar for it. Nice little sale. It's like selling a CD and making, like, $8 or $5 or whatever. It's so easy to ship. Just put it in a padded envelope. No big deal. And I didn't even have it on very March 13th. I didn't even have it on like more than a couple of weeks. Oh, wait. Yeah, start time, March 13th. And let's see when it's sold. March 16th. Three days. Three long days to sell that little sucker. Um, perfume. You know what? I don't think I sold a lot of perfumes this month. I mean, as I'm going through this, it doesn't seem like I did. But uh, Tigris. Tigris always sells. Fabergé Tigris. I don't know why. They like it so much. It just always sells. And uh, I got sixty two ninety nine. These uh, this one was part of those that that box of bottles of just. I went to a sale. I bought a whole bunch of bottles of perfumes in boxes for like a buck a uh, buck a piece. And it looks like I <laughs> like uh, this is this is why we started that scummy reseller channel. Uh, mostly for, mostly for fun, you know. Um, we sell video games, and we get a lot of people busting our balls how we're scummy resellers. We don't like video games, and I do like video games, and most of us do, but we're just scummy resellers because we're scooping them up from all the collectors, and which is uh, BS crap, whatever. But anyway, yeah, $1. That's kind of a scummy reseller thing. I make that into like sixty-two ninety-nine, but not really. You know, I had to do work. I had to take pictures. I had to wait. How long did it take? Yeah, about a month. Not so bad. Um, but I had to pay fees, blah, 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 St storage fees. No, just, you know, eBay fees and shit like that. $62.99. Um, I like doing perfumes. I have a, a set that's perfect for perfumes. I leave it set up all the time. I just knock off a few pictures. I know how to ship perfumes. Um, um, yeah, they're easy for me to do. And I'm starting to get a sense of which perfumes are worth more. Hey, look at these. <laughs> a pair of these cufflinks. Uh, I told the story every time, but I'll tell it one more time quick. I bought a bunch of cufflinks from this guy. I uh, paid a good price, super cheap, uh, less than a dollar a piece. Tried to sell them to a cufflink guy for, I don't know, a couple of bucks a piece. I had so many of them, like 400. I told him uh, maybe more. I told him like 900. I think I had 500. I told him like 900 for everything. He's like, oh my God, that's too much. I'm like, fine. I put them on eBay, 17 bucks a piece. And I always sell some at least one, two, sometimes more a month, 16.99. So I'm probably making at least 10 bucks uh, every time I sell one of these. Maybe more. I don't know. Uh, here's something goofy. And uh, I did try and sell this. I put this in my showcase. You may remember it. I think. Uh, 10 assorted peanuts, corn cob holders. I don't know if I put them in my showcase or I took them to the fleas. Tried to get like 5 or 8 or $10 for it. Couldn't do it. I knew they would sell on eBay for $19.99. I didn't want to do it. it was, I didn't feel like bothering with it. My wife said, ah, I'll just list it. She listed it. Uh, sold for $20, bucks, uh, free shipping. So I probably made like at least $10, $12, kind of what I wanted for it. And she was willing to do the work. Didn't take that long to sell, about a month. Now look at this. I'm, I'm up to February 20th, right? And uh, I actually... When I, when I went to that sale, I bought the Fabergés, right? I had bought several of them. And uh, they were in boxes. I've been giving my friend the boxes because I don't even want to, I don't even want to photograph boxes most times. Collectors aren't really collecting. These are people that mostly want to use the perfumes. So 
it's like it's extra work to describe the box, extra pictures to photograph the box, extra weight to ship the box. I'm going to give it to my friend. If collectors want boxes, uh, Daryl, Video Gamer Daryl, subscribe to him. Um, I've been giving them to Video Gamer Daryl. I told him just list them in lots. If a collector wants boxes, they'll just buy them, and, and it's better for them. March 5th. So I didn't even have this on very long because I said 20th, about two weeks. And um, this one, again, it was I paid a dollar for it at a yard sale with the other one. Not bad. Not bad. doesn't happen, though, very often. Uh, most times when I go to yard sales, I find perfumes are generally not in box. They're generally not complete. They're generally, like, partially full, uh, mostly empty, bottles kind of dirty, scrunchy, whatever, a little bit of wear. Um, and I have to pay between 5 and $10 for them most of the time. Here's something cool that I believe we took to the flea market, and I think my wife tried to get 15 for, and nobody would buy it. Uh, I didn't have it listed very long, about a month, about almost a month exactly, I would say, or a month exactly. $35, very light to ship, put a little box, cost me about four bucks. Don't know what we paid for it. I'm, I don't know, I guess five or something like that. Uh, $35, and it's really cool. You know, it's got these really cool beads. Uh, Lucite, it looks like. I'm guessing it's from the 80s or, or something like that. Let's see. Uh, we're up to the 21st. You know, is this the day that I made all those sales? Uh, the 21st? It, that might be the day where, where we had the snowstorm because I've got all these sales that happened on the 21st. Uh, there's like one, two, three, four, five sales in a row. Maybe more. I got to get to the next page. But here's another sale. Yeah, this is the day because I remember the perfume. And I was, it was so, I'm like, oh my God, I sold this. This perfume in this particular bottle, uh, because other Joy D. Jean Pateau, Pateau, or whatever, Pateau, um, does sell well, but not for this amount. And here I got $125.99 for it. And I actually had another bottle, which I think, I, I think it's in last month's uh, eBay sales that I sold. It had a chip lid, I couldn't open it up. Um, to smell it, the bottle had chips over. And I still got like I don't know, at least sixty or something. I put it to auction, you know, maybe more. You know, I, I can't remember everything, but hundred twenty five ninety nine. When did I list it? Not very long. I listed it in the beginning of March. It sold a couple of weeks later, and this is something that I had. I just have it. I just had it sitting there, and I just never got around to it. And I'm like, you know what? Let me list this. Um, uh, because I, you know, I go, I do stuff in spurts and right now I, I'm doing a lot of perfumes and I'll sporadically list something. Like I have this, this thing I want to list and I might just take it down and, and list it and it's not perfumes, but it fits on the perfume set, blah, 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 blah. All right. 125.99. Uh, if you can remember that particular perfume and if you see it at a sale, man, pick it up. I can't guarantee it'll sell as quickly as it did for you, but it's sold rather quickly for me. And the same person who bought that perfume, oh, I'm going to tell this story in a second. He also bought this Whiting and Davis gold tone mesh coin purse billfold wallet for 25 bucks. We had, I know we had that at the flea market for between 5 and $10 and nobody would buy it. And we had it there for quite a while and we just gave up, put it on eBay, listed it in February and it took about a month or so to sell. Here's the story behind the guy that bought the Jean Pateau and this um, wallet. So... A lot of times what I'll do is I decide whether I put delivery conf confirmation, I'm sorry, a signature confirmation on a sale if it's over like a hundred bucks or, or, or an expensive item, right? I'll decide if it's worth it or whatever because if someone lives in like a shady neighborhood or if it's going to get dropped off on a street, you know, I I might add signature confirmation, especially for something that's hundreds of dollars and or if I have to insure um, this guy, I, I, so I Google, what I do is I Google their houses. I Google their, not, not specifically their houses, their address. And this one comes up and the guy's living in, uh, he's in Maine and he's in this beautiful estate. It's like two and a half acres. It's, it, and it came up on a real estate ad for like almost $5 million and all this property. And they're showing the interior because it was for sale sometimes. And every room is more beautiful than the next. He's got like uh chandeliers and furniture and just just like insane so i'm like eh i don't think anybody's gonna steal this from his door so i just sent it um just normal i i think i include insurance i like i said i'll just ship it priority and priority ha does have some insurance i wasn't really worried about it being so but this is actually like 
lifestyles of the rich and famous. And this guy is buying like Whiting and Davis purses and uh, Joy D. Jean Petto jewelry from me. All right. Uh, vintage Ralph Lauren Polo Green Cologne Spray, four ounces. Sold that uh, on the same day, the snow day, the big blizzard day, 40 bucks. You see this stuff around and it's and it's the older stuff. Just buy it. It always sells. You know, try not to pay more than 10 for it. I've uh, paid like as much as 20 for them. And the funny thing is I smell it doesn't even smell that good. You know, I wouldn't like it. Um, I wouldn't rub it on myself. If I rub it on myself. I think people would go like, ew, you know, but I don't know. I just I don't like the smell of it. Um, 40 bucks, it always sells, polo green. And usually if it's made by somebody like, I think it's Mem or I don't know. There's there's different old school makers who make it. Um, same day, another sale, snowstorm, blizzard. Um, Nocturnes de Karen, eau de toilet, vapor zature, which means spray in, 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 Fran in French. Um, 50 bucks in the box. Not bad. Uh, how long did I have it listed? This is also something I'm almost positive I paid a dollar for with that huge perfume sale that I bought about a year la last summer. I bought it last summer. Uh, a whole bunch of perfume, a dollar an item. I just get around to listing stuff. I listed it uh, in January. You know, that's that's what happens. I'm a busy guy. I don't get to list everything. You know, everybody's like, you got to list it. You got to list it fast as possible. And I, I list as fast as possible, but, you know, it's hard. All right, um, all right. How am I going through the month? Oh, watch fobs. Um, you know what? Watch fobs are annoying as hell to sell at the flea market. Some of the Goldfill ones sell for good money. This one, I, I, I think I sold this one in one day, March nineteenth. So anyway, um, my wife bought this kind of watch, and it came with an extra watch fob in the box. It this one's a fifteen one quarter inch Goldfill watch fob, gold gold filled. And 120th, uh, 14 carat gold filled, 20 bucks right away sale. She listed it on March 19th, and it sold very quickly. It sold on uh, the 21st, two days later. And when that happens, sometimes you go to yourself, did I make a mistake? But it's like, I told her, eh, so what? You could have squeezed another five bucks out of it. What's the big deal? Um, I can't remember if this was a return. For uh, This is one of the ones... Okay, Versace Yellow Diamond. No, I don't think this is it because it was a tester. Versace Yellow Diamond Eau de Toilet Spray, 1.7 fluid ounce. Another perfume, 90% full. Used, $28.99. This kind of was a heavy bottle. It probably cost me like 8 bucks to ship or something. But I got a feeling I only paid 5 bucks for it, so whatever. I, like I said, I like listing perfumes. And, oh, and even though they may take long to sell sometimes, and this one took about a year-ish. No, actually not a year, October, not a year, but it did sell, so fine. Uh, here's a CD. This one I had on forever. This is when I used to list CDs before Amazon, and then I put a bunch on Amazon, and then Amazon kicked a bunch of my listings off, and I left Amazon. But this one is one of my really old listings, you can tell, because I used to use this green marble background, which I thought was cool, and it, and the CDs would pop from it. Uh, nine ninety nine, and you can I can tell it's old because I had shipping, uh, shipping, shipping separate, three dollars. Um, CD, what's I mean, you know, at the flea market I can't sell it. Whenever I see CDs are worth more than ten dollars on eBay, I just put them on eBay and let them sit. Unless it's like rock, you know, rock I'll just sell it at the flea market. Uh, Dana Ambush Spray Cologne. These were part of the that one dollar lot of per, uh, colognes I got. I think I'm almost positive again. Listed in January, sold it in March. Um, I listed them together as a lot. I don't know why I did, you know, but I guess because it, it bumped the price on it, it made it like sixty two ninety nine. They probably would have been worth, maybe they were worth thirty something bucks a piece. I'll do that sometimes. I'll just list two things together so it'll be like fifty dollars or forty dollars or something like that, rather than like eighteen or whatever. Because you know, you always get, I, I always get slammed on shipping sometimes uh and perfumes can ship two ways they can go first class or they can go ground if they go ground it costs almost as much as priority and it it goes like i don't know three t I don't, it, it goes two to three times as slow as priority but it costs the same price you know and but you're not allowed to ship perfumes via via um by air anymore you know they can't go on planes they have to go by cars or vans or trucks or whatever they go trains uh, trains, I, there's that thing, trains, planes, and automobiles, but but not the planes part from that famous movie. Um, here's a lotion. 
that I listed, and I didn't even have it listed very long. It, uh, I don't know the sold date. I didn't check it, but March 17th. So we're not, we're, we weren't even done with March, but this is one that it's like weird. I don't know if I sold the perfume. I might have sold the perfume, but this one, it, what happened is you have to shake this one up. It's more of a water base and an oil based lotion, right? And if you don't shake it up, look at this. It looks like weird, right? And I said in my description, look, you have to shake it up. This is what it looks like. I took pictures. I'm very honest in my listings. If there's anything wrong, I go in big capital letters, big red letters, this issue problem, blah, blah, blah. You know, like it, it, it's got a problem, you know? So um, they bought it. 50 bucks free shipping and I could have gotten 65 but I said uh 50 bucks because I the other the perfume was also kind of expensive so I was like oh, I'll just make it 50 it should be a, a cheap sale and even though I saw somebody had sold it for like 60 before uh, more cufflinks and I already told the story in the cufflinks so there you go all right I, it's I, it's 16.99 I don't even have to talk about that it's just I sold them again and again and that guy lost out and it's own it's his own damn fault for being so goddamn cheap, you know. I mean, maybe he didn't have nine hundred. Maybe he could have said like, "Look, can I pay you over time? Just give me a deposit." I would have been like, "Yes," because I needed the money at the time. Here's another bangle bracelet. Didn't have it on that long. Um, listed at March nineteenth. Didn't even I sold it like days later, whatever. Oh no, I'm sorry. It was an auction. My wife does do auctions, and I I, I sometimes I miss it. And I don't notice that it's an auction, you know. But one bid, twenty four ninety nine. It was this one's kind of cool. It was kind of it was kind of a flat and and kind of round a square with rounded corners. An unusual one. Now we know we see them at yard sales. We can get at least twenty five bucks from one on eBay. You know, you see them like five dollars, maybe seven or eight dollars. You know, buy it and put it on eBay, and it'll sell. And if I can get twenty four ninety nine at auction, I can get thirty two ninety nine uh, from a buyer. Now here's a pair of cu um, cufflinks. We've been listing more of our cufflinks. They're easy to list, easy to photograph, and light enough to ship. One of these, let's see. I don't know. One of them, the black, one of them's were Dante. And what my wife did was she threw in another pair of cufflinks just to sweeten the pot because they were they were cufflinks made out of buttons. 20 bucks, a couple of bids. Uh, actually, the bidding started at 20 and went all the way up to 20 49 uh, But so what? You know, I'm almost positive she had them at the flea market for months and they did not sell. Okay, we're up to the 28th. The month is almost over. I'm running out of time to make sales. Um, vintage sign Monet Gold Tone, 27-inch double strand necklace with tassel pendant. Kind of pretty. My wife will list stuff like this. I'm sorry. My wife will take stuff like this to the flea market. Uh, sometimes if it is signed, sometimes if it is Monet. And this, she'll sell at eight, ten, twelve dollars. You know, sometimes as much as fifteen. Uh, but this one was Monet, easy list, twenty nine bucks. Uh, I can't say whether she had it at the flea market or not. Um, but it, it was, it's signed, signed jewelry. If it doesn't sell at the flea market, yeah, put it on eBay. It'll sell eventually. Uh, you know what? Let me see how long I had it listed for. Not long since July of twenty seventeen. All right, another CD. Is this a CD I had on forever? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Uh, this CD was on from 2018, one of the earliest CDs I listed. Again, yeah, I, actually it was sold $15.99, $16 plus $3 shipping. So, um, yeah, not bad. $20 CDs. <laughs> it only took me 10 years. Whatever. And I'm sorry, eight years. I'm rounding up. 10, eight, rounding up. All right. All right, almost done. Here's a, I bought this box of knives. Um, they were all advertising, and one of them was even sterling silver. I had 23 knives in, in the lot, and I listed them to auction for what I felt was a fair price because they're advertising. Little ones, 25. Big ones, 50. And I only paid 20 bucks for the whole box. So that's, again, another, as AJ, uh, with classy, scummy reseller move, but whatever. I paid exactly what the guy wanted. How much? He, I said, how much are the knives? He goes, two bucks a piece. I'm like, how much if I take them all? 20. I'm like, I'll take them all. Because yeah, there was like 23 knives plus a box. So anyway, uh, I had these since this summer, since last summer. And I didn't do anything with them. I just put them to the side. 
And my I, my wife goes, what are those? I go, oh, it's that box of knives I bought on the summer. She goes, I'm going to list them. I go, great. Right? So she listed all 23 and only one sold, $24.99. So I'm not at break even yet. But man, I'm going to make a lot of money when those sell. I think at least 10 of them, I put at 50 bucks. And the other, I'll say the other 10 at 25. So that's 250 plus 500. Oh, and one of them was $100 because it's silver. So two fifty, five hundred, seven fifty, eight hundred dollars at least, right? Twenty dollars, eight hundred dollars. Where are you gonna do that? I don't know. You have to be like a like um a movie star to get that kind of money. Uh, another perfume, twenty eighth of the month. Month is winding down. Uh, what is this one? This is funny because I had another one of these perfumes. I had three of these. One of them, the pump didn't work. And I sold it at auction for 50 bucks. And then the lady bitched. She's like, oh, the pump doesn't work. I said, yeah, I know. I said it in the listing. She goes, oh, well, I can't get it spray. I said, yeah, I know. I said it in the listing. It's in big red letters. And she's like, oh, I wish I never would. I said, look, I don't know why you're complaining. I, it's a $100 perfume. You paid 50 for it. Just rip out the pump, the stopper, and put it in a different bottle, bottle or put a little bit of wax or something on top of it and use it as a splash. You know, she complained a few times, um, but then I didn't hear from her, so fine. I don't care. Uh, he, anyway, here's another one of the bottles, and this bottle had crack to it, but it works fine, right? $92. So the funny the funny part of this, again, besides the other bottle, right, is that I have one more left, and it's the only one on the internet right now, or, or eBay. I'm not going to say the whole internet because I don't know, right? The only one on eBay. And that one, the bottle's beautiful, perfect, whatever, no damage to it, blah, 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 blah right? I have that one for $100. Someone emails me with an offer of 50. I'm like, no, right? Because I just sold one with damage for $92.99. I sold one where the pump doesn't work for 50. So you're going to get the best one for 50 bucks? Nope. I'm holding the microphone in my hand and my arm is going to sleep. I'm just going to give me a second. Yeah, my fingers were going numb. Okay, I'm back. Um, so anyway, I have one more left. If anybody wants to buy it, it's going to be 100 bucks, and that's that. So either way, still, I think I paid a dollar for it. Another scummy seller, reseller move. I, I like that um, That name. I'm, it's a YouTube channel. Maybe I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. Um, I had it on since January, so a few months. Not very long. Uh, like I said, perfumes. I like perfumes. I made a dollar into ninety two ninety nine less eBay fees and shipping. But on the other hand, let's see, when did I sell this? Okay, uh, the month is almost over. I have like a couple more sales to go through. So if you've been here the whole ride, the roller coaster ride, we're coming to the part where you just pull into the gate and, and get the hell off. Um, Mem, DNA, oh, I'm sorry, Dana, uh, English Leather Blot Cologne. Uh, this stuff isn't really worth much, wasn't really worth listing separately. So what I did was I just took a bunch of it and put it together, made it 50 bucks, and then I listed it. <sighs> like almost four years ago uh, but it did sell finally i got 50 bucks so you know i'm happy and i got a feeling i paid at most me probably the reason i listed it is because i paid too much for it and i was like screw it i gotta put it with some cheap stuff and this way to like like if i had paid five bucks for the, the english leather with a wood cap and then it would cost like then it would sell for 15 <laughs> and shipping would be eight i'd be like oh you know so that's probably why I listed it together in a lot. Anyway, I did sell. It only took me four years. Four long years. But you know what? I listed it four years ago. And, and it's like, for me, it's found money because I forgot about it. forgot I even had it. I had to go look for it. Uh, let's see. I still have a few more sales to go. Oh, man, at least three. So I had a run of, of perfume sales. Uh, I, know, I know I had some perfumes this month. But then the next few sales will be all perfume. Truest de Tiffany Eau de Perfume Atomizer Spray, sixty two ninety nine. I don't remember where I bought this. I don't think I, I think I bought it recently. Let's see when I listed it. Yeah, I bought it recently, and I, I'm doing this thing where I'm listing a lot of perfumes. I listed it right away. I don't believe I paid even five dollars for it, sixty two ninety nine. Uh, Helena Rubenstein. That's my next sale. Another perfume. Um, another. Well, twenty eight ninety nine sale i just shipped this out a couple of days ago i don't know what i paid for it i know i just bought it and i listed it right away and oh yeah may 9th no no this one i had a long time this one i had to go digging for two years may may 29 but i still got 28 bucks for it 
two years later. All right. Let's keep going. Givenchy, Paris, Organza, Eau de Perfume. This one I had on my perfume table for a long time, and I just didn't shoot it because I didn't have the right size box for it. So I ordered the boxes because this one's tall, and I didn't want to fit in the smaller box anyway. So I would just look at it all the time. I'm like, oh, it's so tall. I'll shoot it eventually. 40 bucks, and I listed it in November 16, 2017. So I don't know. It was online for like less than four months. And uh, as you see, it's not even, it didn't even sell for a lot, a lot of money, you know. But uh, so if you go like, oh, it's Givenchy, you know, and you're at a sale and they want 20 bucks for it. Yeah, pay 20 bucks. And then, and then oh, you can only sell it for 40 and you got to pay for shipping and whatever, you know, not worth it. Let's see, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I'm done. Anyway, I hope this video was entertaining. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some stuff. I pretty much got to get out of here and do some stuff. This took me longer than I thought it would. Um, I'm going to do it again next month. As long as I remember, I almost forgot this month and I'll just keep doing it uh, because for me, it's it's helpful. It, it, it hammers stuff into my my head. And like I said, hopefully for you, you learn something. And uh, yeah, that's it. OK, thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye.